Alright, so today we're going to be doing a lecture um, on phase diagrams. Okay, so phase diagrams um, are similar to phase changes, uh, but they're just the diagrams themselves. Okay? Um, so what it is, is it's uh, comparing pressure uh, versus temperature. Okay? So they always put pressure on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. Okay? So increasing pressure, increasing temperature, like usual. Um, um, so what it is showing is that there's three different phases. Okay? Um, so there's a solid, there's a liquid, and there's a gas. So depending on whether or not you change the temperature or you change the pressure, um, how will that change the phases? Okay? So pretty basic stuff, uh, but there's two things that we need to keep track of. Okay? So there's two points right here. One right here, um, and this one's called the triple point, and this one's called the critical point. All right? So what are the triple point and what are the critical point? Well, the triple point is just when there's equilibrium between solid, liquid, and gas. So um, it's converting between solid, liquid, and gas um, in equilibrium. So that's the pressure and temperature that that would occur. Right? Uh, critical point's a little bit different. Okay? Um, so critical point um, is when there's a, the liquid and the vapor have the same density. Okay? So they have the same density, so you can't tell whether or not you're in the liquid or you're in the gas phase. So it's indistinguishable. So it's not an equilibrium, but it's just indistinguishable between liquid and gas. Okay? Um, so what happens with the, the critical point is when you go past the critical point, so everything to the right of it, um, this is going to be called a supercritical fluid. Okay? So everything past this will be a supercritical fluid, and that's when the liquid and the gas have the same density, meaning that you can't tell the difference. Okay, so those are important points that we need to keep track of. Right? Um, so just I guess a very simple thing would be saying if you um, are at a certain pressure or let's say um, you're at a pressure of let's say 50 atmospheres um, and you went from let's say uh, negative 10 degrees Celsius all the way up to 30 degrees Celsius. Okay? What would the phase change be? Well, all we do is we find 50 atmosphere um, at negative 10 degrees Celsius, and then now we're saying that we keep a constant pressure, and now we change the temperature. All right? So we went from solid to gas. Okay? Pretty simple. All right, so there's one thing that we have to keep track of, um, and this is kind of the, the uniqueness to water. All right? um, so water is different in the fact that water, um, the density of of a solid, so density of the ice, um, the solid state of water, um, is going to be less than the density of the of the liquid, and this is specific for water. All right. Um, so, what does that mean? So that means that this is going to change the phase diagram. We don't need to know why it changes. We just have to be aware of this fact. Okay, um, so we know that this is H2O and this is the phase diagram for most other compounds and we're just going to use the example N2 um, and many others. So I'll put a dot dot dot. Um, so what we need to know is that water is specific in that this, the solid to liquid, um, is, is more directly to a negative slope versus the um, nitrogen um, is going to be a uh, slope more to a positive slope. So what are the implications to that? Well, it shows that we can go, in, in water's case, we go from a gas to a solid to a liquid um, if the temperature is held constant. So we can go straight from gas into solid into liquid. Can we do that here? And the answer is no. We can't go from gas to solid and then to liquid all in the same temperature. Right? We can go gas to liquid to solid um, in the same temperature, uh, but that's different. So if they ever ask you which state or which um, compound can change from gas to solid to liquid, uh, we know that it's water. So we just have to keep track that uh, water is, is, is sloped a little differently between solid and liquid phase, and that's due to the density difference.